1061 The River, the best of the 80s, 90s, and now. Guests in studio this morning from the forthcoming Knoxville Opera, we have Jonathan Beyer. Good morning, Jonathan. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm good. And uh, Martha Pruitt. Good morning, Martha. <laughs> good morning. All right. Now, uh, the opera that is coming to uh, the Tennessee Theater on February 11th and 13th, it's a French opera. I want to make sure that it is said in the way that you would say it. How would you say this opera? It's called Manon. Manon? Yes. Not Manon. Manon. Not, not Manon. Manon. It's, spelled, it's spelled like it's Manon spelled yogurt. Manon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's Manon. Yes. Okay, Manon. And uh, it's uh, Massenet's. Is that Massenet's Manon? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, Jonathan, you are uh, in it. Martha, you are in it. What role yes. do you play, Martha? I play Rosette. Rosette? Right. And what do you play, Jonathan? And I play Lescaut, which is Manon's cousin. Okay. What is Manon about? It's about a woman named Manon. Okay. <laughs> okay, and she's a little questionable in character. She's a little, she's is she a woman of loose ethics? Yeah, she was, she was the Paris Hilton of our okay. era. Of our era is what our director said, so that puts it in perspective. Did she for carry you. on the French poodle? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I, we don't have one, but okay. I suppose she could have one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Manon is a, uh, a lady of ill report, mm-hmm. and uh, how does the storyline progress? Well, I can't give away everything because you have to come and see it. That's right. Um, But but she does fall in love, and then she falls out of love, and then she falls back in love, and there are a lot of people that are angry with her and excited to see her. and Yeah, it just sort of of follows her story. Mm -hmm. And I'm the cousin that gets really upset with her because she's dragging our family name in the mud. Okay, because she gets a a reputation. Exactly. Maybe how the Hiltons feel. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It's a a startling parallel. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're angry at Manon for uh, dragging down the family name Mm -hmm. and stuff. How does that uh, translate into the actual story? What uh, uh, does it? uh, Well, the story opens, and I'm actually waiting for her because her parents are concerned about her, so they're shipping her away to a convent. Okay. And Mm -hmm. so my initial job is to take her to the convent. But before I'm able to do so, she's run away with some guy. Uh-huh. So, and it sort of sets the tone for the rest of the, the evening. Okay. So. <laughs> well, and Martha, how does your character come into uh, Manon's life? Well, um, kind of a friend of Lesko's is Guillaume. And he is a very wealthy older man who um, tries to hit on Manon in the beginning of the opera. And I'm one of the three actresses that are tagging along with Guillaume and using him for his money, basically. Okay. <laughs> and, Again, uh, like Paris Hilton. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Bit, we kind of... The, She's the BFF. Yeah, yeah right. I'm the BFF. <laughs> the new BFF. <laughs> um, but Let's my, put my not in street credibility exactly. right here. Let's <laughs> break it down, gents. <laughs> Ladies. I'm part of a trio. Okay. And uh, so we're always together, and we call ourselves the mean girls okay. of Menel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it sounds like fun. Now, as the uh, opera progresses, there's absolutely a reason why this is Valentine's Day weekend. This is a great opera to go see, and it's in French. Now, uh, a lot of the other operas that the Knoxville Opera has brought in have been Italian operas. What is the difference, Jonathan, in between a French opera and an Italian opera? Well, from the audience point of view, there really isn't too much to worry about if okay. you're reading the, the they super have titles, the super right. titles above anyway so we could sing in any language you want you right. still be able to follow <laughs> but um, <laughs> this music they call this opera sort of the Puccini of French operas so okay. it still sort of has an Italianate flair to it all right that that's so I mean really I think musically you're not going to find that much of a difference other than this, a few of the actual word sounds are a little bit different because we're singing in French okay but it, it's a, it's an Italian school of composition, so it's very Puccini-like. Okay. Would you uh, concur? I concur. All right. okay. That was very, very well said. <laughs> I guess there is a, another difference, too, in that there are five acts to this opera, and it doesn't make it any longer, at least the just version that we're doing, yeah. just a little more involved with the plot, and uh, there's a ballet in it okay. that is typical for this era of French opera, and didn't really happen too much in uh, the Italianate operas that we. And used. there is dialogue. In there this is one dialogue. As well. There's spoken dialogue yeah. in French. Okay. Do either one of you have uh, French as a primary language that you've spoken, or is this something that, as you uh, came into wanting to do opera, that something was basically a, a prerequisite into getting into it? 
Well, for me, I started out taking French when I was in elementary school. Wow. So I took French for 10 years before I went to college. Okay. 106 One the River, best of the 80s, 90s now, back with uh, Jonathan Byer and Martha Pruitt of the Knoxville Opera. Mano is uh, opening Friday, February 11th and Sunday the 13th. You can get your tickets now, 524-0795.